Well, hello, YouTubers. How you guys doing? Today, I'm up here at Cars and Trucks Direct in Bernie, Texas. Big thanks and shout out for allowing me to make this in-depth review. Links to their website as well as contact information can be found in the description box below. So today, I'm here to bring you this 2001 Dodge Ram 3500 Cummins. This will be a complete and in-depth review of the Ram. We'll start the engine, show it off, go over some of the performance specifications, and we'll show you a bunch of the unique and interesting aspects on the overall interior as well as the exterior. Starting off with the exterior, I'd like to apologize for that car alarm in the background. It does have a red exterior. It's not in the best shape cosmetically, but it's very hard to find a second gen Dodge nowadays. It does have a brush guard up on the front. Original 18 inch wheels. It does have nice towing mirrors on the side. Just fold them right on in if you're not towing anything. But if you are, pull them out. This is a dually. Towing package down below. And open up the tailgate here. No bed liner in it, that's why you see a lot of scratches. Also nice diamond plate cover right here on the back of the tailgate. Also has a third wheel gooseneck hitch. Nice large exhaust. Original mud guards. That's all on the exterior of this truck. Now we're gonna go on the interior. I would like to point out this is the ST trim, so it is a base model, but I figured I'd film it since you don't find that much second gens. Inside it does have a gray cloth interior, vinyl accents. You have all manual locks and manual windows. We're gonna jump inside. Very nice looking truck. I'm going to go ahead and start the engine here. This truck has 164,000 miles on its odometer. And you can see it right there. Pretty decent amount of mileage for this truck. This is a manual, so you do have to hold down the clutch. Make sure you're in neutral. All right. Now let's go ahead and start this thing. Very nice sounding engine. It's got a vinyl wrapped steering wheel. Nice and smooth power assisted steering. The steering cover is a bit worn, but not too bad. This truck is a NV5600 six speed manual transmission. All the way over and up for reverse. Nice. Now it's going to turn on the lights. Hazards. I don't know if they're working or not. Hmm. They're not working too good. It's going to roll the window down. Very quick. Now we're going to check out the exterior. horsepower and 505 foot-pounds of torque. It's 
system. Like I said, this is the high output variant if it produces that much. It does have a cold air intake here on the side. May not be the best looking engine bay in the world, but this truck definitely gets down. Amazing amounts of power. You always depend on the reliability of these old Cummins diesels. Alright, now let's go ahead and shut the hood here. There we go. Alright, now let's go ahead and jump back inside. Now we'll go ahead and see how it sounds. Get some smoke out of this baby. Awesome. Parking brake's located right down here. To release it, just pull this lever right here. I'm going to set that back. The indicator shows right there. All right, now let's go ahead and shut the door. Roll up the window. Right, now we're going to check the sound system. It does have an aftermarket Pioneer sound system. Preset stations are down here. Track seeks right here. Audio controls are right here. Right up here is your CD deck. I'm not going to fool around with this radio because it's aftermarket and I don't know now that much about it. Right here is your remote for it. It does have a dash cover on it. Very typical on these older Dodges that the dashboard starts cracking. Climate controls are right here. They are functional. Different zones. Temperature. Passenger side airbag off. Power point down below. Lighter. Another outlet here. Ashtray. Glove box, cup holders down below. If this was an automatic model, it would have the cup holders mounted right here and it'd be a fold down. Center console storage. Cruise controls located on the steering wheel. Wiper controls back here. It is a tilt steering wheel. Manual sliding driver's seat, manual recline over here, Your visors, interior illumination down here, storage behind, pretty basic work truck. Very awesome truck. We'll go ahead and shut it down here. nice safety feature with these trucks they won't the ignition won't turn off unless the truck is put into first gear well guys I hope you all enjoyed this in-depth review of the 2001 Dodge Ram 3500 Cummins please like rate comment and subscribe thanks for watching and we'll see you next time